Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis one more time, where medicine just makes perfect sense. Today we have a great mnemonic about histoplasmosis. It's gonna make it easy to memorize everything you need to know about this fungus. So let's get started. And by the way, look at this beautiful, not so beautiful, upper lobe cavity caused by the histoplasma capsulatum. Histoplasmosis is caused by histoplasma capsulae. Everything here is H, baby. It's the number one, it's the most common systemic fungal infection. Therefore, it's highly habitual because it's most common. It hides in caves and you have bats in the cave and the sport. The act of going to explore caves is called spelunking. So spelunkers are at risk of getting histoplasmosis. It hides in macrophage. So if it, this is the macrophage, the histoplasma capsulatum is in the macrophage. It hides in Mississippi and Ohio river valleys. And these are in the Midwest. By the way, also you can see histoplasmosis in the Caribbean. Bat droppings, the poop of the bat. And by the way, the mnemonic here is highly sonic because the supersonic or ultrasonic waves are bats. Starling dropping, again, the poop of a dark bird called starlings. You find it a lot in Chicago, for example, which happens to be in the Midwest. Next, chicken. So chicken farmers are at risk. It's a dimorphic fungus. But what do you mean? I mean, it's mold in the cold and yeast in the beast. Like what? Mold in the cold. If the temperature is cold, this fungus will form hyphae like these. But if the temperature is hot, it's gonna form a yeast. Mold in the cold, yeast in the beast. Hyphae in the cold, yeast in the beast. Notes. Lung cavitation in the upper lobe can be caused by histoplasmosis, so it's histo is high, it's in the upper lobe. HIV AIDS, if you have weak immunity, especially if your CD4 count is less than 100, you are at risk of getting disseminated histoplasmosis and pneumonia. It can cause oral ulcers, pancytopenia, anemia, thrombocytopenia, and leukopenia. Therefore, histo is highly anti-hematopoietic. Splenomegaly, you have a huge spleen with multiple calcifications in the spleen. It can cause caseous necrosis and this is called a caseating granuloma. So here is a granuloma like this and you'll have central caseous necrosis. That's what we mean by a caseating granuloma. I've talked about most of the lung diseases on my playlist called pulmonology. You'll find it on this channel. If you would love to get more mnemonics, you can go to medicosisperfectionalis.com forward slash mnemonics and enjoy. You can organize them by subject or by system. It's absolutely amazing. I'd love to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.